you, Ashley and Susan. I want my audience to know I'm speaking with uh, Susan Manley. She's the Senior VP of Medical Services at Migra Genetics. And she brought a friend, Ashley Dedman. She's a breast cancer purveyor. Thank you guys for being here and talking about a subject that I think always needs talking about. I'm going to start with you, Susan, as the VP. What do you bring to my audience today? What do we want them to know? So as we gather with families at the holiday season, Thanksgiving and beyond, it's important to take the opportunity to learn a little bit more about your family health history. Families share DNA and genes, and some of these genes are linked to important inherited medical conditions, like an increased risk for cancer. Knowing that your family history has members in it, which has a breast cancer or ovarian cancer, colon cancer, or endometrial cancer, that family history may put you at increased risk too and may qualify you for a genetic test. And taking that genetic test might unlock more opportunities for you to be more proactive about your health care. I'm going to switch to Ashley. Ashley, based on your experience, can you tell us about your awareness of your family health history that help you to be proactive in early detection and maybe even some prevention? Velder, knowing my family history really helps me to be able to make informed decisions about my health. Breast cancer impacted three generations of women in my family on my mother's side. My mother had metastatic breast cancer, and unfortunately, she's no longer with us. Um, shortly after she passed away, my father found out that he had prostate cancer, and he is a survivor and doing well. Um, and at the time, I was 21 years old, and I was scared and really fearful um, for my own life. And so I reached out to my OBGYN, and I updated her on my family history because that can change at any time. And she brought me in to talk about genetic counseling and genetic testing. And I underwent genetic testing, and I found out that I carry the BRCA2 gene mutation. And for me, that means that I have a, I'm at a higher risk for breast cancer, ovarian cancer, and have an elevated risk for other cancers. And so I began um, working with my doctor to figure out the next course of action and really planning out my risk management um, blueprint. And, and uh, beginning at the age of 21, I began my first, uh, I had my first mammogram and I also had breast MRIs to aggressively monitor my breast and my breast health. And I did that for about over a decade. And that really helped me to feel empowered that I was staying on top of my breast health. Um, at, over the course of those 10 years, life looked different. And I, um, after having children, my husband and I decided that um, the, the next best course of action for me would be having a preventative double mastectomy. And I'm so glad he supported me in my decision. And so knowing this information, it really helps me to preemptively reduce my risk. And now as a mom of two girls, I'm taking my family history and my uh, knowing that I have, I carry this mutation to be able to educate and empower them um, so that they're able to uh, manage and uh, make informed health decisions as they grow older. Well, thank you so much for doing that because you're here to tell your story. And I can't think of more of an overcomer story than something like that. Susan, uh, genetic uh, testing, tell us the value of it. Ashley told us, really, but tell us the value of it from a scientific point. Yeah, Ashley's story is such an inspirational one and one where information really empowered her to make decisions that are good for her. The first step in learning more about genetic testing is learning your family's health history and taking that information to your doctor. The genetic test for this is a, a test that can only be ordered by a healthcare provider, a physician, or a genetic counselor. And then the test itself is a simple blood draw or a saliva collection. We in the laboratory look at a number of different genes that are linked to increased risks for cancer and then report that result back to the healthcare provider so that the healthcare provider and the patient can make the best medical choices for them. It's a very personal, personalized choice. Ashley shared what she did with the information. People do different types of interventions depending upon their experience with cancer, their risk, and the cancers involved. 
but the goal is to try to prevent cancer from developing or to screen frequently so that you can detect it early when the chance for treatment is greatest. You're right. Ashley did share her story the way that she chose to. Ashley, and if I could ask you, during the holiday gatherings, do you have any tip for other people to share their story? Because everyone's story is unique. That it is, Velda. That it is. And I think what's really important is education is key. And education begins with our family and having those conversations. Every family dynamic is different. Some conversations may be easier than others. And only you know how to have this conversation with your family members. But the information that you will receive and you will hear is so valuable. You'll be able to take this information to your doctor and the two of you will be able to come up with the next best steps. But also the information that you hear, you will be able to take it and share it with your children and your grandchildren and your loved ones and that information they will be able to share. So it is truly what I believe is the gift that keeps on giving. And I believe that it can really help to save generations to come. Thank you so much, Susan. Where does my audience go for more information? Because you guys have shared a lot of information here. Yeah, at Myriad Genetics, we have a lot more information on our website, which is myriad.com slash know your history. Susan and Ashley, I want to wish you a happy holiday. And Ashley, I want to wish you a happy life. So thanks for being here to share your story. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Valder. Thank you. Hi, I'm Valder Beebe, host of the Valder Beebe Show. We have over 1,000 videos on ValderBBShow.com and YouTube.com slash ValderBBShow. We upload new videos daily. Our site is a modern baby boomer platform with news and information important to boomers. Subscribe to YouTube.com slash ValderBBShow and stay connected as I interview the world's most fascinating people.